Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing just great. So the reason why I'm talking so fast is because I'm getting right to the chase with this and want to show the owner what's going on with this body as far as the neck goes. Now the whole plan was to straighten out the neck, check out the frets, you know, fix the one that's got a little bit of a nick inside of it, doing a fret leveling, crowning and polishing. But there's another issue with these frets on here. So I ended up straightening out the neck, that's perfectly fine. No twists, no goofy bends, no nothing. The neck is perfectly straight. Using my rocker, and I don't even have to show you with the rocker what's going on with this neck. I can actually show you with the camera what's going on with this neck. So I thought this would be a 12 inch radius, obviously I'm taking my radius gauge and hitting it with the flashlight. It's not. So you can see the light come through there really good. So I went through my other gauges, found out that this is a 16, 16 inch radius. Perfect, no problem, great. I have the blocks to do it, the job, not an issue with that at all. The issue is, well, let me bring you in and show you what this issue is. So let me get this neck propped up a little bit. Turn on the light on the camera. Look between the fret and the fretboard. There is a gap in the center. There's a gap in the center. Pretty good gap in the center. Still. This one got a gap in the center and kind of goes off to the right side of the fret up in the center. Eh, not too bad, but there's still a little bit of a gap. Gap in the center. Gap in the center. Oh, and this is my favorite one right here. Kind of a pretty good gap in the center. Gap in the center. Gap in the center. I mean, you can see. Here's the best one right here. Look at how high that one is right there. That's a pretty good fucking hump. So I wanted to check something out here and verify what the radius gauge is. And it's a little difficult to, to do, but it, you can do it. So I took the 16 inch radius gauge and I stuck it right on top the center of the fret. And I get, I get rocking. It rocks back and forth. You can see that. If I take the 12 inch radius gauge and set it right on the center of the top of the fret, it's perfectly flat and there's, I can't rock it. There's no rocking it whatsoever. Now the, my favorite one, which is right here, I believe it is, yeah. No, it's right here. Same thing, it's nice and flat. Either, who, somebody did a fret job on this thing a long time ago and ended up putting or bending the fret wire the wrong way. Instead of putting a 16 inch radius, they put a 12 inch radius in the fret wire. That's why all these, the center is sticking up the way it is. So the choice is, well, there's only one, replacing the frets. I can't pound these down. They won't sit, they won't stay down. They'll end up popping back up because that's the way the fret wire is bent. So I'm going to have to pluck these and start all over. Now the one thing, I don't know what is on this fretboard, but man, it, it's it's sticky. It just feels sticky. But yeah, this has gotta be taken care of and that's the only thing that I can think of that has to be done or can be done is to just replace these frets. I do have pre-cut fret wire from Stumac and I've already measured the height of these the height of these is a little bit shorter than what I got here. I have a crown that's got a uh, 0.052. Now the width of these frets here is a 0.111. These are a 0 .11, 0 0.110. The crown is a little bit on the higher side on these, which once I put them on and do the fret leveling afterwards, 
crowning and then polishing, they'll be back down to probably to what these are right now. I don't know how this thing played as far as how the owner liked the guitar and how it played, but yeah, it's going to need some work done to it. So I guess I'm just going to jump right into it and get it fixed. So right there, I'm putting a back bow in the neck, making the middle of it higher and the two ends down. What that's going to do is going to help me remove the frets a lot easier. Put that off this side. All right, so that wasn't that extremely painful. At least I didn't think so. And you kind of seen how the last two frets basically came out pretty damn, pretty damn fast. So let's get in and check out to see what kind of chip out there is. <laughs> None. No chip out whatsoever. Well, maybe a little bit in right there, but. These frets came out without a problem. All right, so let's get this radius sanded into this fretboard. Clean up the frets or the fret slots and get the new frets in. All right, so I went over the fretboard with 400 grit sandpaper. I'm not wanting to cut a new radius in the fretboard. All I want to do is clean the fretboard and get rid of whatever burrs that are on the edges of the fret slots. What I've got here is a piece of 800 grit and that's going to be pretty much my polishing sandpaper for doing this. So right now it looks really good, real nice, feels really nice and smooth. That got rid of that sticky feeling. So I'm just going to go over this even clean up and polish, make this fretboard look really nice and smooth. Then we'll get my radius gauge and pick it up. I have no fingernails. And I go over. Like I said, I wasn't cutting a radius in this. Just pretty much cleaning up everything that was going on with the fret slots themselves. So now I'm gonna vacuum this up. I'll tell you. Rosewood dust. This shit is gold. 